Hello, in this little video, I'm going to talk about Penn State's proposed budget for their athletic department, for the uh, their Committee on Finance, Business, and Capital Planning. It is the PowerPoint that is in this week's um, Canvas site. And this is an extension of what we did um, for Budget 3 when you were proposing the equestrian team. And I want you to think about what you did. Look at the comments. I did put comments in the gradebook on Canvas for you for, for each budget that was turned in and graded. And But this is something now, let's see what it looks like when we get, have to be more detailed because all of your reports, although all had really good things in them, would have been to make a next step to be even more detailed if it was going to be truly presented to a board of regents, subcommittees, and so on. Um, so what this report does, it first goes over the NCAA sports sponsorship for the Big Ten. If you notice on slide four, uh, what does it have? Penn State, 16 men teams, 15 women's teams, uh, 31 teams total. And it has those totals for every Big Ten team so that, excuse me, every Big Ten school so that uh, the committee understands where does Penn State fall within a conference and what's going on within their conference. Then it goes into the organizational structure of how the director of athletic reports to the president. Um, the responsibility the director of athletics has 291 full-time employees, for example, and the general fund budgets that are there separate from athletics in a way, such as rugby, the sport camps, and so on. Um, they also talk about the reorganization of the structure um, so that Penn State can best serve the student athletes in a more efficient way in terms of um, not just budgeting, but in terms of, of support staff and so on. Um, the institutional control talks about individuals with more than one reporting role, which we see this quite a bit, very, very common. Um, and then the budget overview, right? And this is where, if you were actually proposing a new sport, you would talk about, okay, what does the budget look like right now? And here we have the budget overview, which includes the Big Ten's revenue sharing policy. So if you're on a conference that has sharing policies, you'd put that in. The five-year plan, uh, the best budgets are five-year rolling plans that get updated every single year. Um, talks about the EADA report, which I spoke about this past Monday. And the um, budget, if you can see, it says moving into fiscal year 17, an introduction of a full zero-based budget approach. Again, something we talked about um, early on this semester. It has the history of the revenues and expenses and the operating budget overview. Football flat season ticket prices we see, for example, and parking adjustments. So um, basically showing what looks different from maybe the previous year. Um, then we look at their branding with Learfield, with Nike, and, and the Big Ten TV contract, and, the, um, and then the budget overview, the key expense assumptions. And right now in your book, looking at those assumptions and how those assumptions make a difference when people read a budget, um, the cost of attendance, the NCAA legislation, sports medicine, for example. Um, the NCAA fine that um, they incurred and so looking at that $60 million, um, a portion to cover that. Um, and so then we have the spreadsheet on um, the 14th slide. And looking at that spreadsheet, the revenues, expenses, and so on, again, looks exactly like what some of those budgets I showed you that were on um, for Nike. Again, just a few, you know, it's different based on every type of organization. We see the budgeting, potential revenue enhancement modeling, right? So we don't put this in the budget, but what might happen, right? And that's what we would do with the equestrian after putting in, whoops, one second here, lifting a dog down, there we go. After putting in what the uh, expenses are, then we have separately, okay, we know what these numbers are, this is potential. Um, 
and then the expense reductions. How can we reduce certain things? So you see, those aren't in the spreadsheet per se, but when giving a presentation, we want to include these. And then also the um, philanthropy, philanthropy um, I'm having a hard time today, considerations. So that's what that looks like. I'm gonna close this one right now. I'd like to keep these, these short for you, and then we'll go to another topic.